Hey guys, Soul Reaper here, back in KSP, in version 0.25, yes, the new version is out, with the new space plane parts, and I love it. I've been waiting for some new parts for space planes, and these are gorgeous, really, not really nice. So, I uh, built a little uh, VTOL plane, using the new parts, using the new cargo bay doors which are sweet and very nice and, uh, yeah. let's try them out turn off the brakes I bound the uh, cargo bay doors to the same button which starts the VTOL so turning the VTOL engine on opens the cargo bay doors turning them off closes them again so really easy really nice so, try to load it down, gears up. Uh, the new uh, cockpit doesn't have landing gear, I just clipped it in there. Using a little few, uh, uh, what do you call them? Forgot the name. I clipped it in there, at least. Uh, the plane uh, handles pretty well. The new parts are uh, pretty good. You can gain uh, pretty high speeds at a very low altitude. You can go much faster than with the old parts. So, I really like that. I can make a plane that gets the Mach effect at about uh, 100 meters up. Which is ridiculous, but also cool. So we should be maybe able to make something, uh, some sweet uh, SSTOs. Which can go into orbit very easily. Now let's see if I can get this through the gate. Uh, not my first try, it is. I already wrecked the plane once. Uh, very nice. Tight fit. But hey. Well, let's go horizontal. Let's see how fast this baby can go. Max speed. Turn out fetal engine. So as you can see, I'm up about uh, 300 meters, 400 meters, you know, maybe, maybe 500 meters that you can reach about, I don't know, 200 and uh, 30 uh, meters per second. That's pretty fast, even for a little plane. And if you go up, more ridiculous go pretty fast this plane doesn't need SES to fly but it's easy you know, even simple stable flight let's see we're at about 7000 meters in a few seconds really Really, really, really fast. Let's see what we can do. Uh, how fast we can go up here. We're under a thousand, ten thousand meters. And we're going almost five hundred meters per second. And there are the mark effects. If you look at the landing gear. If you pitch it down, you can get them really quickly. I notice with these parts, if you pitch down, you can get the mock effects very quickly, very low to the ground. Which I think looks nice, which is cool. It gives you a feeling of speed. This plane doesn't has a, uh, have a lot of fuel. And it's made to have, uh, you know, fly around the KC and have fun. Maybe fly to the island where we're going now. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to make some fun things with these. Uh, I think uh, an arrowhead cargo STO with the new wing parts would look pretty sweet. Very slick, very... Uh, if it's if it's one is one piece, you know, because the parts are straight, the normal wing parts, and are not bent like the old parts, which are gone, by the way. The big wing is, is gone, and uh, there we go. Slowing down, slowing down, flipping around. Try to go for a minute. Got to turn on steering on this. Ah, this is how I made the landing gear on the front. Okay, unlock steering. There we go. Well, guys, that's it for now. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please like the video. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. I'm gonna make some uh, think nice planes with these parts. Should be pretty cool. Makes a lot of things a lot of easier. But uh, well, we go, uh, we try to go a little bit old-fashioned, you know. Don't make it too easy. Well, see you guys.